What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're checking out three ways to help you improve your triads. So let's go. Cool, so like today's video title mentions, today's video is all about three ways we can practice our triads. Now, if you're new to the channel, triads is not a new subject to us here. It's actually one of the more crucial subjects. It's a huge foundation and a huge building block in your, how would you call it, guitar journey that when understood really, really well, can propel your knowledge of the instrument to the next level. And so this video comes in response to a couple questions I've had on Instagram, on YouTube, and through private lessons that I do. You know, what are the triads? How can I practice them? And finally, how can I apply them in a real world context with the chord progression? You know, so with that being said, that is the subject of today's video. Three ways to practice our triads. So like mentioned in the previous scene, this topic of triads is always being thrown my way, whether it's Instagram or YouTube questions or it's through private lessons. And the funny thing, which I also experience, you know, is I guess a lot of us guitar players, we didn't really focus a lot on triads in the beginning part of our journey, right? For me personally, it wasn't until I got into Berkeley that I heard the name triads. And maybe a lot of us the same thing, where we play really well, but realize if we want to expand our knowledge on the instrument, going back to the fundamentals, in this case triads, is a great way to improve our knowledge of the instrument. So with that being said, let's dive into the playing part of today's video. <laughs> so for today's video, let's be in the key of C major. No sharps or flats, simple, you know, our notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, e, C. And so triad, right, are built off of those notes in root, third, fifth. So for example, C, C, E, G, D, F, A. Those are all three note chords in the key of C major. Simple, but effective so far. <laughs> okay, so step number one, how do we practice triads? Well, the first thing I would recommend to all of us is given our home base is C, just focus on C major triads across the fingerboard. All right, so it looks something like this. Let's say we do we start in root position, C, E, G. Then we go to first inversion, E, G, C. Then second inversion. And then you practice those across all string sets. You know, just that skill opened up a whole world of possibilities because now you know many more C chords than just these ones, for example. You can do this. So you're a master of the C chord. So that's one, that's our first way to practice. Just practice your C's all across the fingerboard. 
The next way to practice is by applying the diatonic chords in the key of C major, and let's focus them all in root position, right? So let's actually take one step back. In the key of C major, our chords are C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. Right. So if we focus that onto three note chords, let's focus on strings one, two, three, it would look something like this. Again, only playing in root position, meaning our root is our lowest note, right? Check it out. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. Let's say we want to go to the next string set, strings two, three, four. Let's do the exact same thing, but now it won't necessarily be in root position, right? Check this out. We can do C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. And in a perfect world, you would then continue that, that idea. So strings one, two, three, strings two, three, four, three, four, five, and four, five, six. Next thing you know, you're able to play all that progression across all string sets. Now, keeping in this step two, you know, the point of triads when really understood is kind of like a piano player when they voice lead. You can play all these chords with minimal movement, right? So again, let's do the diatonic chords in C major, but really stick to one area of the fingerboard. Check this out. C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. How about that? That's much more convenient than doing. I mean, that's still good, but if you can do C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, you're golden. You just voice led, I don't know if voice led is the right word, but you played those seven chords in the key of C major in one small area. Right? So now let's do that same exact thing, but on strings two, three, four. Look something like this. Check it out. C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. Let's move up. Let's say we go right here. Right? C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, back to C major. You would then continue that, uh, that process, going to strings 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 5, 6. Next thing you know, in a couple days, you know how to play every chord in the key of C major <laughs> across the full fingerboard. And that kind of small detail will take your guitar knowledge, your fretboard knowledge to the next level, just that extra bit. Now, how do we apply it, right? Two songs that I always come to when it comes to triad movement or triad practice, we can call it. One of them being um, John Mayer's Shot of the Dark. You know, he does it something like this. Um, being D, G, B minor, G, A, 
right? Let's do that same chord progression with that same movement, but on strings one, two, three, right? Like that, <laughs> like Rick Beato would say. <laughs> you know, just break down your favorite chord progression essentially into its smallest form. The other one is the Beatles' Let It Be, you know, in the key of C major. Let's break that down to its smallest figure. Again, let's focus on strings one, two, three. You know? Right? It's super, super simple. Again. triads. Practice them, practice the diatonic chords of the key that you're in, and then finally apply them to progression like Shot in the Dark, Let It Be, even a simple 1-4-5 blues, you know. The more you practice and the application, those two combined will take your guitar playing and fretboard knowledge to the next level. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.